It's John Bowden, Rock History Book for uh, another another one of our famous Today in Histories for the 28th. If it's your birthday today, happy birthday to you. If not, i got to turn down the channels. If not, uh, you probably know someone whose birthday it is today, especially with Facebook. They're always reminding us of anniversaries and stuff that were... Anyway, August 28th, the headline said basically every member of this original band, the original band, and even some people who replaced some members in the original band have passed away in about 60 seconds. We're going to get to that. It's kind of a tragedy when you look at it, considering. And there's been a lot of tragedies with Southern bands. And no, it's not Leonard Skinner. We start today with 1931, born on this day, and he's still with us, John Perkins, Canadian singer from the Crew Cuts, born in Toronto, Ontario. And uh, they had a lot of hits. Uh, they were named the Crew Cuts, of course, because of, well, the, 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 the thing you'd expect. They were named the Crew Cuts because of their Crew Cuts. They had uh, 14 top 40 hits in the U.S., including Crazy, About You Baby, uh, Shaboom, Earth Angel, Kokomo, I Love You So, and Gumdrop, among uh, many, many others. In uh, uh, 1943, Honey Lantry, English rocker for the Honeycombs, is born in Middlesex, England. He died in 2018. Let's see if we got this one. No, we don't. Oops. We don't. We don't. We don't. Our, our, uh, our, 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 our streaming software has been acting up on us lately. I'm not sure why. But that was another angle. There you go. In, uh, oh, a big birthday for one of my favorite drummers. Oh, it's doing that again. Sorry about this, guys. I've got a switcher on the way. We've, we've ordered a switcher, which is going to help us. But Danny Serafin's birthday today from uh, the, uh, the great band Chicago. He was with them for a whole lot of years, from 69 to 90. 25 or 6 do 4. I remember hearing that for the first time as a young drummer and going, I'm never going to be able to drum like this guy does. He was such an amazing drummer. We're almost at our headline. Um, in 1949, Danny Davis, American jazz drummer, is born. Uh, played with David Bowie and Stevie Wonder. He died in 2016. And our headline, every member of the original band is dead. Every one of them that's on the cover of the first few albums there, they've all died. Molly Hatchet. By 2020, every single member that was on the first few albums had, had died. Uh, see if this will work now. It will not. No, it will still not work. There he is. Uh, uh, David Lubeck was born on this date. It's, his, it's actually his, uh, his birthday today, but he was born in 51. American rock guitarist from the very beginning of Molly Hatchet, born in Jacksonville, Florida. He always gives credit to the bands, he said, that really influenced them and helped them keep going like 38 Special, but especially Leonard Skinner. Um, let me get rid of this here. A lot of problems today. No, it still won't. There he is. Their big break was opening for Bob Seger. That's when they decided, they said, you know what, it's a 35-minute set, but that's okay. We're going to try to convert some of these people for a 35-minute set, and it was... Uh, it was basically Lou Beck, who always was the positive thinker in that band, who'd really try to, to make things work for them. And uh, he died. He was 66 years old. He died September 2nd, 2017, 66. Uh, Danny Joe Brown was their vocalist from the very beginning. He was a, a great singer. Flirting with disaster, y'all. Hold on. Let me, let me get this out of here. There he is. Danny Joe Brown. Um... A powerful singer. He had chronic diabetes and pancreatic problems. Hold on, let me get some more. Oh, none of my none of my buttons are working. Let me just go back to the original screen. I knew one of these days I'd, I'd, I'd do one of these things, and all of a sudden, nothing would go right. There he is. He's gone. He's gone. And we're going to go back to there. Sorry about this, guys. I... This is the first time this has been totally broken down. Um, he moved in with his mother, Danny Joe Brown, when he became really, really sick. And he died on March 10th, 2015. He was 53 years old. Cause of death was kidney failure. And let me just get some of these pictures down here since we're not going to be able to switch. There you go. Steve Holland was their guitarist. He died on August 2nd, 2020. He was 66 years old. Dwayne Rowland, guitarist, he died 
at his home in Augustine, Florida, of natural causes. He was 53. I don't know who dies of natural causes at 53. Also, Banner Thomas, bassist, died in 2017. He was 63, battling pneumonia at the time, pneumonia. And uh, Bruce Crump, their, their drummer, died of throat cancer March 16th, 2015. Now, there's some other people who came in as singers who have also died. Jimmy Fair, their second singer, died October, or Farrar, died October 29, 2018. He was 67. He died of heart failure. And another longtime singer, Phil McCormick, he died at 58 in 2019. Uh, the band was not known for hits. Flirt and Disaster wasn't even a hit. And that's the closest they came to having a hit. It reached number 41 on the charts. But they um, had a lot of songs on the radio, nonetheless, on FM radio. The Rambler, Bloody Valentine, Bloody Reunion, rather, Power Play, Satisfied Man, Stone in Your Heart, There Goes the Neighborhood, and let's not forget Gator Country. I do believe that was from their first album. I only bought their second, Flirting with Disaster. I remember it was getting a lot of airplay. I didn't realize it wasn't a hit. I always thought it was a hit. But every single, every single member of that band passed away of that original, original band. In 1951, Wayne Osmond was born. He, of course, of course, is from the Osmond family. It's Shania Twain's birthday today. She was born in 65. And Jack Black was born on this day in 69. Interesting story with Smoke on the Water. It went gold on this day in 1973. And it was based on an actual fire that happened at a casino in Montreux, Switzerland on December 4th, 1971. A place they wanted to... Frank Zappa was, was doing a show there and then someone lit off a sparkler or something and created a fire. They were going to record, they were going to record their next album at that casino. So there you go, based on a on a true story. Sorry about the technical difficulties. This never happens when we're doing Today in History Live. But we've been having a problem with our camera and our second camera. So I, I apologize for that. Uh, Alex Knight, great drummer. Yeah. Fraser J. Hey, John. Hope, hope you're well, Alex Knight. Wow, Molly Hatchet, great first record. The second one was really good too. Uh, RG, I don't know Molly Hatchet. Look them up. You know what? You don't have to like Southern Rock to appreciate them. I mean, they change singers. You know, um, they change singers a lot through uh, basically because of uh, necessity, right? Danny Joe Brown came and went and he came and went and he kept uh, going off and he had the Danny Joe Brown band. So you never heard of Molly Hatchet. Wow, Dennis Perrin. Love Molly Hatchet. Rest in peace. All. Uh, this is so small. I can barely see it. No. Oh, the difficulties are basically the pictures. So that's a good thing you didn't know. I had pictures of every member of Molly Hatchet lined up. And how I have it, I use my 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 uh, my laptop is getting old. Uh, and some of the keys don't work as well as they should. So what I do is when I have a picture, I press one for the first picture. And on my script, I'll put one Danny Joe Brown, and I'm going, I'm talking to Danny Joe Brown, I'm going to press one. And the picture should come up. This time it just didn't. And I'm not sure why, but we're, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm ordering a switcher, which is what people use for TV stations and things like that. Gamers use switchers an awful lot. And that's how they talk to their audience. So, you know what? This is the final straw, like I said. Oh, Kim Trickle, love Southern Rock. Kim is one of her biggest supporters. So thank you for coming on today. I'm really sorry about the technical difficulties. And I just, you know, I put, I, I worked all day on this one going, this is going to be a great show. What a piece of trivia that is that every member of the early Molly Hatchet of the first few albums, they're all dead. And their replacement singers are dead. Imagine that. Anyway, thank you for joining us. If you want to support the channel, there are links at the very top of the description. And uh, take good care of yourself. Imagine smoke on the raw water being ba based on a true, like a fire in Montreux, Switzerland. That is crazy. John Bowden, Rock History Book. Take care.